I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Yokan vein. Let's jump right into this video. What is up guys? Welcome to Eduvape, the place where you come to learn about vapes. My name is Sean and today we're going to be unboxing and demoing the Vein Dry Herb Vaporizer by Yokan. So here's the front of the box. Today we're going to be unboxing the champagne color. There's a picture of the unit on the front of the box. Bottom it says Dry Herb Vaporizer and at the top right there's that Yokan logo. On both sides of the box there are three features. This device has a OLED display. It has haptic feedback. It uses a USB-C charging port. On the other side, it says that it has a magnetic mouthpiece, a detachable ceramic filter, and the Yokan vein heats up quickly. On the back of the box, there is a list of everything that's included. And at the bottom right here is the authenticity and also verification scratch off sticker. So basically that is the box that the unit comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. All right. Yep. All the new Yokan stuff is coming in this this white cardboard box. Just opens. This is the authenticity and also verification little note card. Here's the instruction manual. This is the Yokan vein kit. At the center is the Yokan vein. To the right is a cleaning brush, and to the left is a USB charging cable. This is the basic USB-C charging cable. Cleaning brush. Make sure not to use this when the oven's hot. This will melt. And here is the Yokan vein. This unit is really, really small. It's the same size as my G Pen Dash, I believe. Yeah, so this unit is way smaller than I originally even thought. Here's the Puffco Peak next to it. So this is basically everything the unit comes with. It comes with the unit, USB charging cable, cleaning brush. Now that we unbox the unit, let's go ahead and jump right into the demo and first impressions. Press the button five times to turn the device on. One, two, three, four five this is a nice oled screen you can see there's a minus button and a plus button and the go button right there there are air holes on the side the USB-C charging's on the very bottom the magnetic mouthpiece comes off easily but fits pretty snug this part right here is possibly ceramic which is nice there's the chamber there's a stainless steel screen at the bottom it's an oval chamber with a bunch of airflow holes okay I'm gonna go ahead and load it. Now that it's loaded, you put the mouthpiece back on. Make sure you set it to the temperature you want first. I'm gonna go for a 410. Hold down the button for two seconds to activate heating. You should feel the vibration. And when it vibrates, it's ready. Oh, just vibrated. Doesn't come with a stir tool. That would have been nice. Gonna crank up the temperature. The first couple hits with the vein is very flavorful. You get a really good taste of your terps. It is definitely comparable to the G-Pen Dash and Atomic 9. This device doesn't come with a stir tool. So if you don't have something laying around, that can be an inconvenience. The bowl size is decent and loading the device is pretty easy. Unloading can be a tad tricky if you pack the material down and need a tool to unpack it. But overall, the vein is a pretty cool little device for under 60 bucks. If you do like a cigar puff, you can get a pretty decent vapor production out of it. But after a while, all of these smaller dry herb vapes always have the same flaw for me. This mouthpiece just gets way too hot after using it and it becomes pretty much unusable. Good technique is to let the ground material heat up a little bit in the chamber before you take a draw. This way the mouthpiece doesn't get too hot and you get the most vapor production that you possibly can get. Now I'm going to show you the ABV. There are a couple really, really dark parts, but overall it's not, it hasn't combusted, I would say. The feature that really sets the vein apart from other counterparts is the OLED screen, temperature range, and control. 
Vapor production is really lacking for smaller portables like this one, the G Pen Dash and the Atomic 9. What I like about the vane is that it has a larger temperature range, with its max being at 480 Fahrenheit. At 480 Fahrenheit, I'm able to get a pretty decent vapor production without suffering too much of flavor, and I also don't feel like I'm wasting my herbs as much. The ability to fine tune the temperature also helps you dial in that perfect temperature. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel and visit edgevape.com to learn more about the vein. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Sean and this is Edgevape, the place where you learn about vapes.